Now, as you see, I do not have the gauges hooked up. You do not need gauges when filling or testing these mini splits. If you want to know about refrigerant charge, you're not going to do anything with superheat or subcooling on mini splits on the variable displacement time. Now, there is a mini split that will fool you that isn't variable displacement. It's a straight up one speed liquid line with a, this is an old school. There's some manufacturers who will trick you. If you're used to mini splits being a cold line and a cold line and suction on both sides, okay, that messes a lot of guys up because they think regular residential split systems where you'll have a liquid line that will be a hot liquid gas and then you'll have a suction gas line. That is not how most mini splits, and I say most mini splits work. There are some that have single speed compressors in them that literally have the expansion device inside of them and do have a liquid line, but they look like a regular mini split. But on a mini split, you don't top off, you don't guess, you don't use superheat, you don't use subcooling. You just weigh in exactly what is required for the line length, the type of heads, because there are manufacturers on some systems that actually have a capacity rating of an amount of refrigerant depending on what head air handler you have on the big VFR type, what you would call big mini split. Um, but in this case, you just need a scale, a hose, a refrigerant, and a connection. That's all, real simple. And you fill it up to what the manufacturer called for. So I'm gonna zero it out. And we're looking for nine pounds, 15 ounces. I'm gonna turn it on. There, we're at zero there. There we go, we're filling up. And you can see how fast that's going in. Okay, this is not rocket science. And I hear static electricity is happening here. Hey, ow, shit! Fuck! Look at that, fuck. Look at that. You see that? Do you see that jump? You can't see it in the film. There's a big spark right there. Holy shit, I just got hit by a 100,000 um, volt. Uh, that, that thing was jumping like three quarters of an inch from here over to the metal. Um, yeah, have you ever heard about static electricity building up when refrigerant flows? I just caught it on video and it just shocked the shit out of me. And I touched like this through my rubber glove. It jumped to me, my knees are on the concrete. So it was jumping from here to there so yeah just caught static electricity on video and i'm not through yet oh there it was just did you hear that ticking noise that ticking noise was uh <sighs> okay come on that's close enough there we go. All right. So now I could get this thing ready for uh, filling and uh, go from here. Yeah, that was uh, that was cool catching it on video. People talk about this. There's forms, but people say they never came across it. I came across it one other time. Uh, one of my old Testo manifolds when I was charging one time, I was jumping from the case, the middle of the really old Testo, it was the 570 or even before and older than the 570. And it would, uh, it jumped to a pipe where it was hanging when I was charging one time. All right, guys, I'll see you. That's it.